JOMO, the joy of missing out. Here you do nothing. Here is the joy of all the things that you're missing. Shacky's a place to have a holiday. The idea is that the shacky gets placed on someone's property and they manage it. The company retains the ownership of shacky and the profits get shared. It is an opportunity for uh, farmers and other people living in agrarian areas to diversify their income. And shacky provides an experience where you're right at the face of what's relaxing and beautiful about the landscape that's around it. Shaki is uh, seven metres long, two and a half metres wide and 3.3 metres tall. These dimensions are to allow it to be towed easily without excessive amounts of permits and also to make sure that the experience of it is intimate. Shaki is designed to have a very contemporary feel to it but also a feeling of being within its natural environment. It's a combination of sustainability, comfortable living and also slightly shed light. Shecky has an enclosed bedroom and from that there's a view of the idyllic landscape. But the kitchen area and the bathroom area are both outside but under cover and this gives you an experience of protection from the environment when you're in the bedroom. But when you're in the kitchen cooking or you're uh, going to the toilet you feel exposed to the elements and this is part of the pleasure of Shecky. There are a lot of features in Shecky that allow it to be almost entirely off the grid. The only thing that does connect to the grid is water gets piped to it. It has a composting toilet. Power is generated through solar panels. We've gone out of our way to make sure that there are no power points in the shaky. There is a USB charger so that you can charge your phone, so you can take photographs because if it's not on social media it didn't happen. But the idea is that you can't charge your laptop here because if you're coming here you're coming to get away from the responsibilities of work. One of the things I love about staying here is the experience of lighting the fire and huddling around its warmth. I like the idea that the potbelly stove is the bush TV. You're sort of camping, but just a little bit more high end than that. Chopping the wood and lighting it is sort of slightly primal experience. It's very enjoyable. There's no reception here. It's very beautiful after a while to not be connected to the world. And suddenly the experience of being disconnected means that a very brief stay in Shaki of maybe two to three days gives you the sort of refreshing feeling that you have after a two-week holiday.